Now I got the BL Touch working. It's fairly simple to use. Go up to bed level. And we'll go to the back of the bed and start the calibration process. I've got it set up to touch the bed in nine different points. Uh, I need to adjust the travel. I was real conservative on my X and Y axis because I, I wanted to make sure that the probe stayed within the limits of the bed. So I've got to go back and uh, change the code a little bit. Right now it thinks it's a 225 by 225 millimeter bed and I need to uh, move it out. I need to measure how far out I can move it. It works pretty cool. This is going to make printing a whole lot nicer. Uh, I can tell it to do a G29 in the code and it'll bed level every time it prints or I can do this from the menu the first time it prints but obviously it's better to do it every time that it does a print. But I have to um, I've got it actually programmed in the code for in uh, the G code in Kira, but I need need to change the location. Kira 2.5 does a prime uh, on the nozzle, and it's in the code's in the wrong place because it wants to do the bed level after it does the prime, and then I mean I got to slow that axis down. <laughs> um, Anyway, uh, it, it wants to do the bed level after the prime and uh, it leaves stuff everywhere on, uh, you know, on the nozzle because of the boat and wants to weep just a little as it travels. So I need to put the G29 to turn, on, turn the auto bed level on after the bed and the uh, hot ender up to temp. And I've got to find that spot in the, in the uh, startup code for Kira. But it was a fun project. It wasn't real difficult in reality. That's the mount. It's a combination of something I found on Thingiverse and um, my own changes I had to make it work to fit this uh, carriage that I drew up. It works well. I was able to guess pretty close on the dimensions. I only had to use a couple washers to move it down to get it within the adjustment window. But the BL Touch Probe is working, and uh, it's, it's going to be fun to have it on here. I'll post another video uh, when I do some more stuff to the printer. Thanks for watching.